horrifying fish you've never seen. In the old times, even the most skilled sailors would refuse to venture into the ocean at night, for they felt that the pitch dark ocean may swallow them at any moment. Scary as it is, there are depths of oceans where even sunlight refuses to go. And in these cold, pitch black depths of the oceans lies the scariest of fish that are sure to give you a heart attack if you ever came across them in real life. Today, we will dive deep into these depths where the pressure is so intense that a normal human body would implode within seconds. As we take a look at some of the most horrifying fish you have never seen. To kickstart this list is the goblin shark. Goblin shark is probably one of the ugliest and scariest fish you have ever seen. Not only do they have an unusually shaped snout and flabby body, they also possess jaws that seem to be inspired from some Alien vs. Predator movies. These creepy sharks can grow as long as 20 feet in length and are found in deep oceans all around the world. Though known to be sluggish in their movements, the scary monsters get all pumped up when they spot a prey nearby. Tiny electroreceptors situated on their long snout helps goblin sharks detect minute electric fields created by a prey. Once it gets fairly close to the prey, then logic leaves the world. Goblin sharks use their extendable jaws and move with the speed of lightning, 10 feet per second to be precise. Once it gobbles down the prey, the jaw moves back to their original place. This scary spectacle is truly extraordinary. From goblins, let's move towards the sandworms from the hit movie Dune. These big scary monsters with endless teeth in their mouth. Now, what if you were told that something very similar to these beasts lurk among the very depths of our oceans? You wouldn't believe it, but it's true. Let's talk about the sea lamprey. Sea lamprey is a horror show packed in a long but slender body of 47 inches. These cylindrical shaped fishes have a disc shaped suction cup mouth filled with rows after rows of pointy teeth. Sea lamprey are parasitic fishes that use their scary mouths to latch onto their prey. Once firmly in contact, lampreys use their sandpaper rough-like tongue to eat away at the fish's flesh so it can drink their juicy blood and body fluids. Because of these eating habits, they are known as the vampires of the oceans. In recent times, sea lampreys have successfully invaded Great Lakes of America and are creating havoc by sucking up on the local population of the fishes. If sea lampreys look straight out of a sci-fi movie, then you will find the next fish on our list from a vintage horror movie. We are talking about telescope fish. Their faces alone are enough to make a baby cry. This slender sea monster has a large head which is home to their unmissable telescope-like eyes. These big eyes may look ugly, but they are extremely useful for spotting the slightest bit of light in the deep dark oceans. To avoid being detected by their predators or prey, telescope fish lie vertically on the ocean floor and use their gigantic eyes to spot the silhouettes of animals floating above. Once the prey is spotted, telescope fish closes in by making use of stealth and attacks with its sharper curved teeth. The ingenious design of their jaw allows them to feed on animals twice their size. Thankfully for us, telescope fish only reside in the depths beyond 500 meters, which means the chances of you encountering one of these is practically impossible. The next horrible fish in this list is the Northern Stargazer, primarily found across the Atlantic shores of North Carolina and New York. These vicious fish can grow up to 22 inches in size. Their claim to fame is their ultra scary face and their brutal way of killing. Northern stargazers reside in shallow waters and bury themselves inside the ocean floor to protect themselves from being spotted. True to their name, their eyes point upwards as if they are staring at the stars above the ocean. But the purpose of their upwards looking is not for recreation, but for hunting. These uniquely placed eyes help them to spot unsuspecting prey swimming above. Once the victim gets close enough, Stargazer pounces upon the prey to gobble it up within a millisecond. Death is painful and gruesome. To add to all this, Northern Stargazers are capable of giving electric shocks to their enemies and victims. Talk about being formidable. 
Now, let's move on from New York to the coast of California, where we come across the sarcastic fringe head. Look at this spectacle. At first, it may seem that some kind of French kiss is taking place between these two sarcastic fringe heads, but you cannot be more wrong. These two fish are battling amongst each other for their territory. Sarcastic fringe head is a big mouthed fish that mostly lives in abandoned shells and calls them its home. These fish are highly territorial and they open their great mouths to wide proportions to scare away intruders. And when this show of strength fails to work, sarcastic fringe heads literally bang their open mouths with their opponents. The one with the bigger mouth always wins. These scary monsters may remind you of Demogorgons from the Stranger Things show. And strangely enough, they have their attitude too. Sarcastic fringe heads are very quarrelsome about their home, as the greater their home, the greater their chance of mating. Basically, these bad boys are fighting for a chance to love. The next fish on the list has perfected the art of deception. We all remember the scene from Finding Nemo where Nemo and Dory get lost in the deep dark ocean, but they suddenly come across a beautiful light. It cheers up their heart and makes them soon forget their worries, but as soon as they turn around, they see a monster fish waiting for the right chance to gobble them up. Yep, that's the fish we're talking about, the anglerfish. Anglerfish is as scary as hell as a bony fish which can grow up to the size of 3.5 feet. Anglerfish use their modified luminescent fin ray to attract unsuspecting fishes like Nemo, and when the prey comes close enough, there is only one outcome, a painful sudden death. Considering how ugly anglerfish are, nobody wants them to be the last face they see before dying. If we have to explain it in simpler terms, then anglerfish is a floating monstrous mouth with a torch hanging above its head. Coming in next is the frilled shark which can be thought of as a fierce competitor of the anglerfish for the ugliest fish award. If you think this shark looks like an ancient sea beast, then you're very correct. Frilled sharks are known to be as old as living fossils due to the fact that their body has remained unchanged over the past few thousand years. Frilled sharks have 300 barbed wire-like teeth that convert their prey into minced meat after it enters their mouth. A frilled shark can grow up to 13 feet in length and are found to be in the depths of the Atlantic and Pacific Ocean. To be precise, you can find them at a depth of 4,200 meters. Some people also refer to them as eel sharks because their dorsal, pelvic, and anal fins are located near their tail. As for hunting, frilled sharks use a slingshot-like method to launch themselves at their prey. When close enough, frilled sharks swallow their prey alive. Some of their favorite prey also include other smaller sharks. If a frilled shark is not scary enough for you, meet black dragonfish. True to its name, black dragonfish is easily the most devilish looking fish out there. This mysterious fish is truly the worst of the worst. A female dragonfish can grow up to 16 inches in length. Black dragonfish can also be referred to as a mini black hole because of its ability to absorb more than 95% of the light that hits its body, making it almost invisible to the naked eye. Spectacularly enough, black dragonfish have the ability to turn its deep black body into a scary bioluminescent death trap. Unlike most other predators that use this ability to attract prey, dragonfish use this ability to light up their path and focus on their prey while hunting. This is what you call the best of both worlds.